one thing that Burning Wheel got right, if you want to get good at anything, you really need to challenge yourself. So in what ways do our characters change during play? We're all aware of common mechanical changes such as increased combat potential and likelihood of success in tasks. So how about your emotional growth, your history, and your relationships? Well some games do handle this. In My Life with Master, your character's stats are their emotional state and that will change throughout the game. In Apocalypse World, you have a stat for your history of the other characters in the story and that plays an important role. And finally, many games will handle the relationships in your life, such as monsters and other childish things. So what's the reason for having all this? Well, it's to keep you playing the game. This is why gamification has become a big thing nowadays, and why concepts such as leveling and achievements are being applied to activities that never used to have them. There's also something to be said for the experience of playing a character to change throughout the game in order to keep it interesting. So advancement in most games typically involves gaining levels through obtaining experience points, advancing skills based on their use, or a reward for a specific type of behavior. Although it's easy to see that every game rewards a specific type of behavior, even if it's not implicit or intentional. Now some game designers may struggle with ways to make advancement mechanics realistic. I think this is a fool's errand. Realistic advancement mechanics would have to account for skills degrading over time without use and the long period of time that it would take to master any one skill. Neither of these concepts would translate well to play at the table. Now when I said advancement can change how a character plays, there's a few different ways that this can happen. Advancement can give a character more freedom. This might be more options in combat, the ability to travel the world more easily, or more influence over other characters in the story. It could also be a change in setting. This might be what part of your setting that the character interacts with, what or whom they interact with while they're there, and how they do that. And finally, it could be a mechanical change. This might just be the modifiers and target numbers increasing through play. Now, of course, advancement mechanics have an effect on play, and many game designers take that into account. For example, in Apocalypse World, before each session, the GM and the players all select for each other which stats to highlight. And by using a highlighted stat, a character will gain experience points, thus incentivizing them to play the game a little differently than they may have in the previous session. But it's Burning Wheel that really took this to heart. In Burning Wheel, the GM can only reward you for playing your character. If you want to advance your skills, you need to test them. And as they go up, you need to test them against stronger and stronger obstacles. This encourages you to throw your character into more and more difficult situations. And if you actually want to have any chance of succeeding in those, you need the rewards that are given to you by playing your character. Ultimately, it's the advancement that keeps people coming back to a game and keeps the gameplay interesting. It's a lot of power to put into one mechanic, so we should do our best to make the very most of it.